Hello friends, it is now Thursday, the fifth week of Lent, and the title for our devotion today is Look Out, Not Within. We're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to 1 Peter 1 so that we can read verses 3 through 9 together. I have my Bible right here. It's always so comical to me when we are on one way end of the Bible or another, just how just how much we get to hold in this arm, right? Or in this hand. And the same thing when we're all the way back in the Old Testament. Gosh, we hold so much in our hands. Um, it just, it makes me laugh. I don't know. I don't know if those kinds of things even register to you. Those are just some of the things that I notice as I'm studying God's word. Something else that I notice when I study God's word um, is that there are books of the Bible that I don't spend typically an overwhelming amount of time in. And when I am called because the Bible study guide or the teacher or the leader um, that I'm studying other under calls me to look at it, um, it, it's always amazing to me how blessed I am by these um, books of the Bible that I look at maybe a little less frequently. And one of them is 1 Peter. And so I'm really eager to look at 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9 with you. I have my Bible all set. Now that I've jabbered for a little bit, I bet you have your Bible all set too. So let's go ahead and read this together. 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9 says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you've been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that has been tested through fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is unexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation for your souls. Thank you first, Peter, for those verses. Wow, aren't you so glad when we get called to look at these verses? I sure am. So again, the title for today is Look Out, Not Within. And let's keep going. After most of Job's life and possessions were stripped away, his wife said to him, do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. God often uses trial and suffering to refine faith the same way gold or silver is refined. Other people may even chime in on the attack, making you lose heart and feel that life is all for nothing. Lent calls you and I to reflect again on the real inherited nature of our sinful being. However, Lent is not the time to pout or grumble or complain. Faith calls you to look outside yourself, to trust in God's promises and his word, and to look to his son, Jesus Christ. Gaze beyond life's ashes and remember that you are baptized into Jesus Christ, who bore all sufferings for you by his sacrificial and loving death on the cross. Since Jesus rose again, slaughtering death's power and grip, you rise to new life every day, even in the midst of trials. Friends, we get to pray another hymn together. Will you please fold your hands, close your eyes and bow your heads. Man, after that victorious last sentence, I'm excited for this prayer with you. Let's do it now. Savior, when in dust to thee, low we bow, the adoring knee, when repentant to the skies, scarce we lift our weeping eyes. Oh, by all thy pains and woe, suffered once for us below, bending from thy throne on high, hear our penitential cry. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
Oh, this is another good one, friends. You know what? Okay, so after this video ends and before I go on to anything else in my day, I'm going to spend a little more time in First Peter. I wonder if you'll join me there. You'll have to let me know. I love you so much, friends. I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.